Hey you guys, happy afternoon. It's Anne coming to you again behind my apron. I just thought I'm going to make a quick pork tenderloin um, today with some homemade macaroni and cheese for our one meal. And I thought, oh my gosh, I should show you guys what I'm doing because I'm using our awesome deluxe air fryer to actually put this pork tenderloin on the rotisserie. So I don't know if I've talked about this before, but you guys, you can do all kinds of things in here besides use it as an air fryer. Um, in fact, one of my friends calls it an easy bake oven for adults or for family. Um, but I wanted to just show you before I actually got this started so you guys would see um, just a couple of the steps. But first of all, if you're shopping um, today, yeah, at Hy-Vee, you guys, these, um, are actually pork tenderloins, but you could actually do like a pork loin roast in here or a whole four pound chicken too. But this Smithfield already seasoned as I just dripped it on myself. Um, I picked roasted garlic and herb flavoring, but if you, uh, that is a really good deal this week. If you buy two of them and you can put them in your freezer, but if you buy two of these, you get three of them for free. Um, and so I just popped them in uh, the extra ones in the freezer, but I'm using them today. And I did that shopping on Friday and I know the sale goes through at least today. So just a heads up in case you're by a high V, um, that is awesome. So what I did though, I'm gonna put my gloves on so I can actually lift this up and tell you. So your air fryer comes with um, the cooking guide. And there's recipes and just wonderful things in here. But there's a whole page about rotisserie and doing chickens and pork loins and things like I'm doing today. And so I took the pork loin out of here and it was already seasoned garlic and herb. So I'm this time I'm not gonna add any seasoning to it, but what I would have normally done is just dry off my pork tenderloin or my pork loin roast and then season it really well with a dry rub. Um, but I wanna try this flavoring that it already came prepackaged, so I'm not. Then you take some cooking string, um, and you know, if you don't have any of this, come borrow some from my house or um, ask at the meat counter. Sometimes they'll sell you some. Um, but you do use cooking string because you use that on the chicken too, because you gotta, gotta tie it together. So you can see I put three chunks of cooking string on my pork tenderloin. Then I took the rotisserie rod, and you guys, once you tie it together, it keeps it pretty firm. So I very easily just inserted the rotisserie rod all the way into the pork tenderloin and then put the claws on and tighten them down so that they would be stationary. And you put a chicken on this same way too. You put the rod through and then you hook the claws on. And I don't know if you guys can see well enough, but you basically just put the claws on and clamp it together. And then to run it through um, in the air fryer, I'm just gonna open the door here and kind of show you. I didn't wanna get that all goofy. Um, but you actually just insert it. There's a little spot where it sits in tight and you insert it and get it to drop down in their unit. And then on your um, choices on the manual, I'm going to turn it to rotisserie. I'm going to hit start because I don't want it um, that long at 28 minutes is what I did the last time. And then hit start and hit the rotate button because I want it to move around. And I'm sorry the, dark, the window's always dark and you guys can't see that it's actually spinning in there. Um, and then at 28 minutes, I will test it. Um, let me take these off quick. I will test it and I will just use the instant read thermometer. I've talked about this before. You literally can just stick it in and it will give me the, the temperature right here. So that way I'll know if it's done and ready to come out. And I'll just test it while it's on the rotisserie rod right in there. So you can do this with chicken too, if you're rotisserie your own chicken. And as it's getting colder, um, you know, one recipe I just thought of, there's a lot of um, really good chicken chowder recipes like buffalo chicken chowder, white chicken chili chowder. Um, a lot of times they tell you to use rotisserie chicken in that. Well, how cool that you can make your own, okay? That's really fun. And there's a wonderful recipe in the little book. Um, but then this is how you will get it off. This is the lift. So once it is done and I've checked it with the thermometer, you actually just put this in, as you can see, it's about the same size, and you'll lift up and then it'll, the rod will sit right on it and you'll be able to pull out that um, rotisserie pork tenderloin like I'm doing today or that rotisserie chicken. So I really encourage you guys to give this a try. In fact, a friend of mine just did two Cornish hens in hers this week. 
um, put them both on the rod at the same time. So you can have a lot of fun with it and um, it gives you just a, another way to do something fast and really good at your house. So I will, I promise I'll post pictures too so you guys can see what the results look like. In fact, I'll try to remember to take one when it comes out whole and after I've sliced it so you can see it. And then I was just gonna pop on and tell you one other thing. I'm not gonna make these today, but probably tomorrow. Um, a lot of people in our area have been going to the apple orchards right now. And of course, why do I wanna go? Because I wanna go for an apple cider donut. Um, but I'm not gonna drive all that way just to get a donut. And so I just wanted to remind you guys, we have a wonderful easy release baking donut pan. And on my website, we have the apple cider donut recipe too. So you can just make your own. So that's probably what I'm gonna do um, tomorrow afternoon. That's kind of on my list. So I wanted to pop that out there and mention it to you. And then lastly, I just wanted to tell all my customers that have been shopping with us through COVID while I've been trying to give you some inspiration and cooking. I'm really happy to tell you that our shipping is getting much more back to normal. We're shipping right now at about two to three weeks instead of six to eight like we dealt with this summer. And um, we also are having less back orders. So I'm really glad to know at least for Pampered Chef, our supply chain's getting better. Um, but it's been hard, but I appreciate you, um, all of you that have been great customers and been patient patient with me and it's so fun to see your comments Sarah this sounds so good I know and you and Alex would love this it's so easy to do and so fast and Sharon you can't wait for your party yeah I bet you're gonna buy the air fryer um, it's still the deal of the uh, program you can get the air fryer as a host half off or even some months a 60% off deal so that's the way to get it um, Jim uses it like his favorite he loves tater tots in it how crazy is that I don't think we've had tater tots five times in 20 years except on tater tot casserole until the air fryer and now he just thinks that's a great way to get a nice little fast crunchy tater tot um, and I'll tell you I won't make chicken parmesan any other way now it is so amazing you do the chicken on one of the trays and you're doing the vegetables roasting on the other tray and you just boil your pasta quick and serve it over that it's a great recipe too. So happy Sunday. I just wanted to pop on and tell you today it's pork tenderloin. And I really wanted to tell you the deal at hy V. So if you're going to hy V, they have these in like five flavors. Um, and pork is really cheap right now. And you can substitute ground pork in place of ground beef a lot of times to stretch your budget. But if you're going today, you can pick some of these up. So good luck with that. And thanks for joining me. See you soon.